Here we go. Ooh, that's a nice punch. And a sad kick, yes. That would have hurt on a human. This is not a tech demo or an animated film. It's a real fight, robot against robot, broadcast on Chinese TV just last month. Chinese humanoid robots have moved beyond the stage. From dancing at the Spring Festival Gala to trading blows in a boxing ring, they are now a symbol of China's tech ambitions. As AI took off, China was actively building its own language models and investing in the development of humanoid robots. They were not just designed to look and act like a human, they were also being trained to think like one. This makes it possible for robots to operate in settings typically designed for humans. China hopes the robots will become the next big engine of productivity, and it is the only country reveling the US in this space. So just how far has China come, and could humanoid robots really change our lives? A recent report ranked 37 Chinese companies among the world's top 100 in humanoid robotics. And China now accounts for 63% of the global value chain, from design to manufacturing. In short, China isn't just catching up, it's competing. They've been at this frontier for many decades for, than most countries. China has a, in some ways an advantage, at least in the hardware manufacturer, because the supply chain in China is you know, really massive. You, you, you can find everything you need in, in uh, sort of certain industrial hubs. Uh, so that's, that's why they've been able to drive the cost down, I think. So how did China get to this point? It started back in 1990, when the Chinese university built the country's first two-legged working robot. By the next decade, the machines had human-like shapes that could mimic basic movements. It wasn't until the late 2000s that these robots began to move out of the lab and into its own industry. And in 2016, the public showcase of 540 Chinese robots dancing in perfect sync demonstrated China was ready to scale up. Fast forward to 2023, China's robotic industry took off, with more investors and companies joining the race. Companies scrambled to develop their own humanoid robot products, and China unveiled a national plan to build a world-class industry by 2027. It is part of President Xi Jinping's push for new quality productive forces, a tech-led vision that includes EVs, renewable energy, and artificial intelligence. Robotics also can benefit from advancements in other areas because like electric motors are used everywhere. So there's a lot of research in, in motors to improve the quality of the, of the actuator. We need longer lasting batteries. Some Chinese cities have set up special funds to boost humanoid robot development. Beijing, Shanghai, Shenzhen and Chengdu have each allocated $2 billion. China and the United States is definitely leading in terms of hardware development in the humanoid robotics space. But the Chinese robot revolution still has a few weak links. The industry relies on US chips to train AI, and rising trade tensions make that access uncertain, threatening to slow its momentum. Partly it's competition between the two countries, um, because you know, in America there's a, a few companies like Boston Dynamics and Tesla and others that are producing humanoids and in China, we, you know, we can do it too. I'm Abby. My greatest wish? To be adopted by a bunch of cheeky kids at a hospital or some fabulous residence in an aged care home who'll let me make their days brighter and maybe let me win at bingo once in a while. Regardless of who wins the tech race, one thing is clear, the future is coming. That's going to be like one of the, you know, the iPhone or a chat GPT moment for humanoid robots, and it's, it's very near. Consumers also see robots as the next big digital product. Today I'm unboxing something wild, a humanoid robot that can actually walk, wave, and even sit. Good to, good to meet you, Greg. But can humans be replaced? Let's take boxing as an example. Two robots fighting in a ring might look impressive, but they are still far from human. Chinese experts say their neural networks struggle with three things, perception, decision-making, and movement. Robots do run on rules, so they can't see like us, think like us, or move like us. And as the state media puts more bluntly, the industry is still facing multiple bottlenecks. China still lags behind global giants like ABB in key areas, lacks sensors, 
actuators and motion control. More than 40% of key components are imported, driving up costs and slowing down mass production. So how much does one actually cost? Tens of thousands of dollars, according to state media. It a lot just depends on economics and cost. Um, right now, I don't see robots coming down to like the price of a phone. So it's more like buying a car than buying a phone. Silicon Valley bosses are already imagining a robotic future. Elon Musk says there could be 10 billion humanoid robots by 2040. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang thinks they'll be as common as cars. But behind that vision, the real battle is over cost, complexity, and competition. Without unified standards, brands can't even talk to each other. Data privacy, security, and safety rules are also inconsistent. So while the future of humanoid robots may be coming, it will likely arrive later, messier, and more costly than we think.